Voltathon 76 is sponsored in part by Sugar Bombs Breakfast Cereal. Bombs away. Folks, if you're just joining us, we're coming to you live in the 10th consecutive hour of our Voltathon 76 drive. We've got operators standing by and, oh, it looks like we've got one. Harry's on from Skyline Valley. He's sending the whole family to Vault 76. How about that? Skyline Valley, beautiful country, right in the heart of Shenandoah. Now to join Harry and the over 17 million vault dwellers already on board. And let's keep those numbers climbing. It's got four on the line from AVR Medical Center. In for wheeling. It did. Oh, twins, vault 76 is a growing community, and strong community can weather any storm. Why, just take a look at our Skyline Valley neighbors in Vault 63. Hi. The greatest scientific minds are hard at work, cooking up shocking new ways to protect and preserve this Appalachian Eden. Yes, Skyline Valley is a stunning portrait of Mother Nature in repose. From the picturesque Shenandoah National Park to its majestic wildlife and friendly local residents, Skyline Valley is a welcome home to all. And don't forget to bring home a souvenir or two. When the bombs started dropping, don't come a knocking. Call now to reserve your place in Vault 76. Still not sold? Lock the wine, I am not giving up, honey. What's new? Nothing that would interest you. Now let's talk about you. I need some supplies. All right, but go easy on the cans. Hey there. This can't be good. Let's go back home. Then let us get on the way. Okay, let's go. Even a girl with an arsenal full of weapons needs to make a living after all. Let's see what you've got. Purchase a variety in case of boredom. This unit is ready to observe. Let's see what you have. Beginning requested task. stairs. You'll 
find I'm very persistent. Okay, let's hear it. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. From what I hear, you may fit the bill. What's the job? I don't know yet. Whatever needs to be done once my boss has had a look at you, I can assure you that it will be dangerous. And that you'll be paid fairly. I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough. You will be well paid. I can promise you that. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Boy, we got beer. You ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. Just browsing for now. Bottles meant for drinking, not looking. Excuse me, miss. Hmm? What's the matter, handsome? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I just wanted to talk to you. Hmm. Well, I thought that's what we were doing. Now, there's something special about you, isn't there? But don't tell me. Let me guess. Hmm, I think I know a fellow performer when I see one. You're good with your words. Know just the right thing to say at the right time. So what brings a man like you to my part of town? I came here for the music. <laughs> Flatterer, I think you and I are gonna get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. Oh, really? Go on. You, me, an evening walk under the streetlights. And then what? I wouldn't mind hearing another song. All right. I can try another tune for you. Hold her up or forever hold your damn mouth shut. I've got a few minutes to browse. Don't bother tipping. I'm already overcharging you. Now that you're licked up, got a proposition for you. I need a dirty boy to do some dirty, dirty work. Blood on the pavement, bodies in the ground, that kind of thing. Interested? Not my kind of work. Oh, I think it is. But all right, mate. I ain't gonna stop you if you want to walk away from all these cups I'm offering. Toss out the troublemakers. You keep that in mind. Out of control like a world war starting to brew Baby, it's just you Like a cyclone, wild and extreme I got my mind blown Stuck in a dream Waking up without a clue Cause baby, it's just you You leave me breathless, weak in the knees I'm feeling reckless, heart me Fallout's blowing through, but baby, it's just you. Help me, help me rescue my heart. Save me, save me from falling apart. Take me, take just curious me, what you're baby, thinking. Sure you're someone the minute me follow. Hell, you can inspire me. Like You've done a lot of good for the people of the Commonwealth. A lot of good. What's the queen of hearts to do? Hey. Cause they's just you. Unless you're the bartender, I'm gonna need you to get out of my face. What's your problem? My problem? Okay, uh, stop me if you've heard this one. A lady walks into a bar and asks me what my problem is. Then Ham and Whitechapel toss her out, and everyone drinks happily ever after. Look, just tell me what you want. Are you lost or something? Lonely? Selling something? Who do you think sent me? But who? Wait a minute. Ron? No, no way. Is it so hard to believe? Well, yeah. You met the guy, right? How about that? I figured he'd just taken my money and ran. 
or waddled, slither, you know. Look, I'm sorry for being a jerk before. I wasn't exactly expecting good news to come walking through the door. Many door, really, but even less so in a place like this. Here's what I need. I have a sister, Audra. She's a good girl, but gullible, you know? She's fallen in with a raider gang, common rad trash led by a guy named Knox. They've been filling her head with chems and God knows what other kind of ideas. And I won't allow my sister to be a junkie. I can't. She's better than that. This family is better than that. And she's all the family I got left. I've tracked them to the Harbor Master Hotel. Ever seen it? It's a trash heap. Suitable enough for scum like Knox. But not for Audra. Come with me. Help me get my sister back. Please. Hello again. Something I can do for you? Music. Hmm. I knew you were something special, all right? Let me get my coat. What's your story? How'd you end up singing here? Oh, I flew into town like any songbird does, on a heavy wind with a wounded wing. Mm, well, this place has a stage I needed to sing, and Whitechapel Charlie needed customers, so here we are. Was there anything else? Whitechapel Charlie's been here a long time, I take it? Well, he never talks too much about his past. <laughs> Neither do I, really. I guess that's why we get along. You should get to know him, though. Order a drink first. He always wants to talk business after someone's had a few. Come on, tell me the whole story. Who were you before all this? You really want to know? It's all in the songs. Everything I am. What did she do? Audra's a smart kid, but only when her head is clear. And I'll be honest, in the past she's needed frequent... Uh, reminders of why that's so important. She ran away from me about two weeks ago, and this time is gonna be the last time. That much I know for sure. Who are these guys? Raiders? Degenerate scum. Not one of them would know an honest day's work or an honest man's worth. And this Knox, he's poisoning Audra's mind. If these animals want to wallow in shit and waste their lives, that's one thing. But my sister knows better than to lie down with filth. Once we get her mind clear, she'll remember that. I'll make sure of it. Do you need to come with me now? Yes. When Audra gets like this, she needs me to remind her of what's important. To me, to her, and to this family. I won't cramp your style or get in your way, but I will be there when we go to do this. I have to be. Sounds good. Let's go. All right. I'll follow your lead. And look, I really appreciate what you're doing for me, but don't underestimate these guys. And Audra, well, let's just keep her safe. She never could manage that on her own. Audra was in, they'd... Well, they'd do what they always
always did. Wait for me to clean it up. No idea how we're gonna find anything in all this. When I get my hands on Knox... Whatever you need, you've got Father's it. Has always been different, you know? And it'd be one thing if she knew how to take care of herself. But this place, and Knox, <sighs> it's a new low even for her. If old Joe Becker could see us now, he'd be damn proud. Could be anything hidden in all this. Ground floor. Wait a minute. Anton? What the hell are you doing here? Putting what's left of my family back together. Back away from my sister! Do it now, do it slowly, or my friend and I will paint the wall with whatever brains you haven't already fried. Jesus, you're gonna kill someone. Listen, please, I know what he must have told you, but Audra, she's not a junkie. She's, she's sick. She's strung out, just look at her. God knows how many chems he's got in her system. There's nothing in her system right now. That's why we came back here. She forgot her medication. Medication? Don't let this son of a bitch fool you. He's manipulated my sister, and now he's trying to do it to you, too. No light. None. Is there anything else I should know? All you need to know is that there is nothing wrong with my sister. There isn't now, and there never has been. No matter what this son of a bitch says. Audra is different, not wrong. I'm counting on you to know the difference. Don't make me regret it. If you expect me to believe you, I want proof. I owe you exactly as much proof as I owe him. Need me to spell out how much that is? You haven't told me half of what I need to know. I told you what you needed to know, when you needed to know it. Anything beyond that was none of your business, and still isn't. Can I ask you some questions? Sorry. I'm just... It's hard to think with the gun pointed at my head. All we're doing out here is trying to survive. If there was a way to make Audra better that didn't involve going to chemicare, believe me, I'd do whatever it took to give her that. But the jet is our only option. Please. Don't take that away from her. Sounds like this isn't some normal group of raiders, either. Is that what he told you? Jesus, that's different. The last time Anton found us, he told the guy he hired that I was a cult leader or something. I'm not a raider, and neither are my friends. We're just... people trying to do the right thing for someone we care about. Well, if something's wrong, maybe I can help. She's not wrong, but she is different. The jet doesn't work on her like it does you or me. For her, it slows down her thoughts to where she can understand them, uh, make sense of them. Without it, she... well, she's like this. Up for days, writing on the walls, pacing the floors. She doesn't think to eat. 
And if we've got clean water handy, she doesn't think to bathe. I... I hate it, seeing her like that. But if it were up to her brother, this, what you're seeing right now, is how she would live the rest of her life, if you could even call it that. So, you can ask me some questions. You can ask me a number of questions, but some is not a number until you made a specified sum. You can do that. You can look at me and you can see something, but you can't see that, can you? <laughs> Are you all right? You seem a little jumpy. <laughs> but I solved for distance. No remainders but the right. I... I went too slowly? No, no, the numbers don't work now. There are new variables and they're standing here right now. There's too many of them unsolved again. Are you happy here? Happy here because I'm not there when I'm here and can't be here. When I'm there, an object in two separate distances at one time, inexplicable, not possible. Time. Distance divided by rate. I didn't solve for time, but it happened and it keeps happening and it's mine. No subtraction. Mine. <laughs> but I solved for distance. No remainders but the right. I... I went too slowly? No, no, the numbers don't work now. There are... New variables and they're standing here right now. There's too many of them unsolved again. Are you okay? Okay, okay. You know where I am. And you already know who and what and I bet you think you know how. Because he sees when it happens and I see what you talk about. You're always talking and he's always looking. And both of you are talking and looking and you add me and you subtract me and you get no result. Now I don't know what to think. I didn't bring you here to think. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't. Please. Audra, please get behind me. Now. Let's do this. I'll have justice for you. Thank you for... Wait. She hates gunfire. She must have run to her room. We need to check on her and make sure she wasn't hurt. What happened? Knox? How did I get here? Who is this? Is everything all right? Better than all right. Our new friend here made sure of that. Wait. I remember. There was a shooting and... Anton. He's dead, isn't he? He must be. He's not kicking down the door. I'm sorry. He just showed up. And... It all went so quickly and I... It's all right. It will be. I thought I'd finally gotten far enough away from home. But I should have realized he'd never stop looking. I don't know how you got wrapped up in all of this and... I don't really remember what happened in the lobby. But I do know my brother. And I know you did what you had to do. For what it's worth. <laughs> it was the right thing to do. Even if my brother didn't see that. Even if he couldn't. How are you feeling? Thanks to you, I'm feeling well... Like me. But Anton... After our parents died, he was never the same. I'm sorry about all this. You couldn't have known. My brother was always a dichotomous thinker. See a problem, solve a problem. Black and white, nothing in between. Uh, it gave him focus like you can't imagine. 
but sometimes it made life hell for me. Him, too, I suppose. People don't know what it's like feeling cornered in your own mind, trying to shut out the voices and the visions and the unwillness of us all. Once I learned I could live without all of that, it made it so much harder to be pulled back in. I wish Anton had gotten it, even if I understand why he didn't. Would you be interested in coming to work for me? You know what? Yeah, I think I would. What do you say, Knox? Want to help me pay back our new friend for everything she's done for me? For both of us. Hell yes, I do. Before we head out, I'd like to take my brother home and rest him on the hill next to our folks. I can get there and back in a day or two's time. After that, we're at your disposal. And listen, thank you. You can head home now. As you wish, ma'am. I'll be at the homestead. Cheerio.